Greetings Metalheads, welcome to the very first edition of the Friday 13th YouTube channel album reviews. Hope you like what you're about to watch and listen to. Um, after each album review there's going to be a link for you to check out a song from the new album and if there's no new song available I'll put you a previous song so you get an idea what the band sound like. Okay so the first one for you today is a band called Evil. This is a Danish band that started out back in 1983 formed in Copenhagen. Now the band recorded an EP back in 1984 called Evil Message. Some of you out there may know it, some of you may not. If you don't know it, then it's really well worth checking out. So the lineups for Pearl, Angel on vocals. We had Peter Hurricane on guitar. We had Kim Christmas on guitar and bass. Unfortunately, Kim died in 2018. And we had Frederick Wolf on drums, who was now the guitarist in the band. Switched from drums to guitar. Now the first EP, Evil Message, only contained five songs, which were Evil Message, Evil, The Devil Wants Me, Son of a Bitch, and Take Care, in brackets, of your balls. Interesting song. <laughs> so, that was the first EP. That was released for some strange reason. The band decided to call it a day back into 1985. I don't know why, but they only did the one EP, then the band broke up. Now the band came back in 20. 15 and recorded a new album called Shoot the Messenger, but this only consisted of one member. It was Pete Frederick Wolf who played guitar, drums, bass, wrote the lyrics and songwriting. So he's a pretty talented guy to come back and do this on his own. This was released on Mighty Music and it consisted of eight songs. A really good strong comeback album, even though it was only one person, it's really well worth checking out. With the success of the last album, Mighty Music decided to release the first demo with bonus material. This was called Ride to Hell, which was released in 2021. This consisted of three song demo, which was already released in 1983, with the songs Evil, Son of a Bitch, and Ride to Hell. So this was on the re-release with bonus live songs, Control Yourself, Always Be Behind, Loser, Kill the Woman in Bed, Where we, You Belong. This was also featured live from 1985 in Copenhagen. Now the band have just released their new album as a full line five members. It's called Book of Evil, which is released on From the Vault Records. It came out on the 27th of May 2022. This album contains 10 songs and one intro. Now I'm going to explain who's in the band. I'm going to try my best to exp uh, say the names because some of these foreign names are very hard to uh, pronounce. So I'm going to try my best. So please bear with me, folks. So first of all, we've got Freddie Wolf on guitar. Like I said, the original drummer back in the day. We've also got Martin Sheenan on vocals, who was once with the band Force of Evil and Iron Fire. Now we all know Force of Evil was Hank Sherman's band after Merciful Fate broke up. So this is a really, really good album, really good band, Force of Evil. Well worth checking out. Fred, um, I could say he's a really good singer, is Martin. Really suitable for this album, and the music's really good too. On drums on this album we have Martin Mullin, and also on bass guitar we have Jacob Higgard. And on second guitar we have Nikolai Hillerman on guitar. So this is a five-piece band. Now the music's kind of like except Judas Priest, Merciful Fate and Saxon. Old school, still delivering the old school metal, evil sound. But it's gone for a more modern approach. Bit of power metal in there, bit of a kick and punch. It's a really good album, great production as well. Talking of production. This album was produced and mixed by Two Manson, as we all know is a fantastic Danish producer. He's worked with bands like Artillery, My Sugar, so many bands, a lot of thrash bands, so it's really, really good packs of punch this album. Great producer, like I said, great sound, really well worth put together. The album comes out on vinyl as well as CD. The vinyl seems to be clear vinyl or like a gold colour, so if you haven't got it, you really well, well worth to check it out. This album has been released on CD, like everything. And it also comes out on vinyl. You can get it on gold or you can get it on clear. So it's really well worth checking out. So it's, like it's a double, it's a single album that's clear or gold or you can get it on CD. Talking to the band members. So the band members that we've got, we've got drummer Hendrick who was in a band called Shadow Spawn, which I haven't heard. We've also got Jacob on, on bass who was in Iron Fire. And Nikolai was in a band called Nightlight. So that's the band lineup with what previous bands were in. So if you want to check out the previous bands that these band members were in, please do. You might find them interesting. Might be something of interest to you. So out of the 11 songs, like I say, the first one's an intro and it's just called The Terrible Thing. The songs that I really like on this album, because they're really catchy and they really sound like old school metal. So there's a lot of merciful fate in there, but without the high pitched vocals. So please don't think that this has got high pitched vocals like King. Musically, it's got a bit of merciful fate in there. 
bit of sax and Judas Priest and except. So the songs I like on this album are Divine Conspiracy. That's a really catchy song. Heavy, melodic, some great vocals. Other songs I also like to check out you should do as well are Evil Never Dies, which is a really cool song. The Raven's Thorn is a really good song. King of the Undead, that kind of reminds me of Merciful Fate and a little bit of Tad Moreau's, a Swedish power metal band. So Beyond Control is another great song. Storm Warning, Evil Message, I think that's an old song that's been reworked with this lineup. And we've got Book of Evil, the title track. So I'm going to give this album 4 out of 5. It's a really good, catchy album. Old school metal, like I said, fans of Except, Judas Priest, Merciful Fate, and, Jude and Saxon are really want to check this out. Great album, Except Priest on From the Vault Records, 4 out of 5. Great album, check it out. Mm -hmm. 